In part 7, we're going to talk about text. Now, we've consolidated all of the text icons under one icon. So clicking the Add Text button, this is where we can add 3D text, 2D text, rolls, crawls, and so forth. So I'm going to add a 2D text, type some text, and if I want to add a template around this, there's two different ways of doing it. First of all, I could go back to the menu and say I want to add a 2D text template. I'm going to come down to the second line here. I'm going to select some new text and start typing it. So the second way of adding that text template would be to lasso it again and simply right clicking and click create template. Now in both cases once the templates have been done the general tab will show all the attributes for this. So this is where we can set the alignment up, size to fit, change it to all caps, click auto erase and so forth. So let's just add some 3D text to the template or to the scene. So we'll type some 3D text and again in the general tabs this is where we add all the attributes. So if I wanted to clip bounds and change the width of that I can either use my mouse to go like that or we can actually type in a number and click enter. Now if I want to change the attributes to that, to the, let's say the alignment to be center, that's where I would do it. So again, all of the attributes for that 3D text is set in the general tab. Now as well, we this is where we do the roll, the type on, the clock, and the timer. So again, all of the text has been consolidated into the one icon. And this is where you select the text in Lyric X.